Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another haul for you and today's haul is going to be one of our favourites on here, I think. It's a charity shop or thrift shop haul. I've picked up quite a few bits and pieces over the past few weeks. I think basically what happened is I've got the thrifting bug again ever since I did the 10 store challenge which was a collaboration with Freya Farrington where we both had to um, go around 10 charity shops or thrift shops in a day and see what goods we could find and I found some good things so I'll link that video down below if you want to have a watch of that one and also you can click through to Freya's video through there as well. But today I'm going to show you the things that I've picked up over the past few weeks. I've got a few bits of homeware to show you and I found some really nice items of clothing as well. Not too many because you know that I'm trying not to fill up my wardrobe right away after the big wardrobe declutter that we did but a few key little pieces that yeah, I've treated myself to. I did ask on Instagram yesterday which haul you wanted for this evening and the thrift haul was the most popular. I'd also have a designer outlet haul coming for you very soon and also a Poundland haul is on the way. I feel like it's been a little while since we did one of those so I thought it was about time we bought the Poundland hauls back into 2019. If you want to vote for which videos I'm putting up, do feel free to follow me over on Instagram. My Instagram is Mr. Carrington, the word Mr. and then Carrington. And I've also got a home account now. So if you're interested in any of the thrifted items that I show you for the home, that's where you can see how I style those up. And that Instagram is Mr. Carrington Home. I'll leave both of those linked for you down below. And also it's a great place where we can have a chat so I always answer the comments over there and um, yeah you can send me messages and I will chat to you over there so if you have any questions for me that's a really good way to get in touch so hopefully see you over on Instagram as well and if you're new here don't forget to click subscribe I'm posting new videos every single week and if you enjoy this what are we doing charity shop haul nearly forgot um, do give this video a little thumbs up. Right, should we get into what I've actually bought? I'll stop waffling on. Maybe you want to grab yourself a little drink. We've got quite a few bits um, to go through. So um, yeah, we'll get straight into it. One more sip. <laughs> right, okay. So hmm, I'm going to put this piece till last because I think that's my favourite item. I'll show you that one at the end. Okay, so... Oh, this was good. Um, this was from um, Ald Life um, Charity Shop in Peckham and this one is a mug that says follow your dreams it's a really nice shaped mug no chips on it it's in really good nick I like the really simple um, black and white design of it and this is by a brand called Sasson Bell I think they're quite pricey I've seen this brand quite a lot in kind of smaller independent gift shops and that sort of thing yeah so follow your dreams um, I hope you're following your dreams whoever you are and <laughs> well, whatever your dreams may be. I think it's a very important that we do that. And this was 50p. So yeah, really nice little mug and a nice message on it as well. Follow your dreams, but don't follow the bad ones. <laughs> on to some clothing. I picked up these trousers from St. Christopher's Hospice and these were in their sale down from £8 to £4. And these are kind of like a wool feel to them. These are Topman trousers, and I haven't actually tried these on yet, but Topman are pretty good with their sizes, and these are a 32 waist with a regular leg, so that's how I usually like to wear um, trousers from Topman or jeans from Topman. I like the leg to be regular, even though I'm six foot one, because I like them slightly cropped. And yeah, uh, just a really nice um, pair of trousers I thought. I like the um, colour for summer and it's got kind of like a chevron print going on on there. And these are 40% wool as well so they're really nice quality so I'm looking forward to wearing those and if you want to see how I put outfits together as well I won't be trying these on in this video but I will be wearing all of my thrifted um, clothing as part of outfits over on Instagram so um, that's where you can see how I put these together as outfits. This might actually go quite nicely with those trousers I think. This shirt is by ASOS and this came from Sense Charity Shop and it was £4. It's in a size medium and it's kind of like the t-shirt material. So um, yeah that kind of soft slightly stretchy cotton but it doesn't really look like that so quite a nice comfortable piece I would say but looks um, semi-formal as well. 
and I think this would go quite nicely with those. We'll see how that looks together. I'm kind of feeling the um, browns as a palette at the moment, so I'll try and put those together and um, shoot some pictures and we'll see how that looks. It's just got a um, single pocket on the one side as well. I'm not sure how this is going to go, so it'll be interesting to see how this looks once I've put it together with an outfit. But this is an oversized, well, it's oversized for me because it's a size large, but it's kind of huge and really baggy, it's not slim fit or anything. And it's this yellow shirt by Ralph Lauren, or Ralph Lauren, depending on how you like to pronounce it. And yeah, it's 100% cotton in this lemon yellow color. And I just thought this would look really cool with the sleeves rolled up, maybe over a t-shirt, wear it open. And just as an oversized shirt, I think this could look quite cool. We will see, but I kind of liked the 80s or 90s vibe of that as well. Um, and that was, that was also from the Ald Life um, charity shop. And that was £4.50, but they had a 50% off all clothing sales. So that was £2.25, so an absolute bargain. I got another shirt that's by Levi's. So this one is a slim fit, doesn't say the size. I think it's a size medium. And it's just this really nice classic check shirt. Nice soft cotton and nice blue and navy blue colours going on. And again, this one was half price as well. So I think that was £4 down to £2 or something like that. So um, yeah, a really good price for that. And Levi's clothes are always really good quality, I find as well. They always last me ages. So I was really pleased to find that in a charity shop. And then I got one more shirt. I feel like I've probably gone a bit crazy with the shirts, but they were all so nice, I couldn't resist them. And I just think they're gonna make some really nice outfits. Um, the last one I've got to show you was this one from Uniqlo. And it's just really nice, um, various, shades of grey, <laughs> for want of a better expression. I don't know if there's 50 there, but um, there's a few shades of grey on this shirt, and this is in a size large. So I'll wear this a bit oversized with the sleeves rolled up, maybe over a black t-shirt with some black jeans and my black boots, I'm thinking. We'll go for kind of like a grey, grungy look with this. Just to start things off, I might switch it up and not do that, but um, that's what I've got in mind at the moment. So again, um, hopefully, that outfit will be over on Instagram very soon if I get around to shooting some pictures. I always find that bit a bit of a palaver. Looking ahead to the summer, I picked up this hat. I'm not really sure about this, but to be honest with you, I thought it'd be quite a good prop for photos. So even if I don't wear it, I just thought it'd look quite good. This was only two pounds and it's by um, New Look Man, or New Look. Um, yeah, so this is, <laughs> I don't think it suits me actually, but, um, yeah, as I say, I thought it'd be quite good as a prop for photographs, or I've even seen people hanging hats in their homes, just on the wall, and it looks quite nice if you want to disguise something. My friend Medina at Grillo Designs, she used a hat to hide something unsightly. I can't remember what it was, but you know if you've got like a light switch or the thermostat and you don't like the look of it, pop a little hat over it and no one will know it's there. Or a hole in the wall that you can't be bothered to fill up. You get the idea. Um, <laughs> the other thing I thought I could do with it is if I am ever shooting an outfit and I can't be bothered to shave or make myself look presentable, I could just do the shot like this. And it could be edgy and cool and then no one will know that I look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. It's a cunning plan. So if you see me doing that on Instagram, you'll know beneath the hat he's not looking his best. You'll never know what you'll find in charity shops. Always keep your eyes peeled for the kind of gadgets and gizmos that are useful to you. And ones that are very handy to me are these miniature tripods. So obviously for doing things like Instagram or YouTube here, I do use several tripods. I've got a big one in front of me. If I remember to pack that, if not, it's usually a stack of various objects like my suitcase and a few books but this is a great one i thought for on the go because it can fit into my backpack really easily and it's strong enough that you can mount a camera on it or your phone if you just get the attachment for that and this is such a clever one because it's completely flexible so if you've got an uneven surface let's just say oh no we've got nowhere to put it so we'll have to put it on my shoulder you can make it grip so you can bend it to however you want. It's probably not the best example doing it on my shoulder, but 
you get the idea, it literally moulds and it will cling on to things. Or say if you were out and about and all you had was a tree and you wanted to put, um, yeah, your phone on the tree as a tripod. So there's the branch and you could just literally do something like that and it would just hold it in place. It's really grippy and strong. So there we are. So a good little bit of kit there. And this is called a Joby or a Jobby. <laughs> I don't know which. And um, this was £1.50. So I'm sure that was quite a good bargain for that. Um, yeah, it's kind of like an animal, isn't it? But yeah, great for uneven surfaces and great for travels as well. A great one to take on holiday if you're going anywhere and you want to get maybe a group photograph in a restaurant. You could attach that to the wine bottle and stand it up on your table and all get in and do a little, hello, we're having a great time. Oh no, we've eaten the food and now the food's not in the, sh oh damn it, we should have taken the picture before we ate. You could do one of those rather than having to get the waiter to come over to you or you could, um, you know the uses, I, I'll stop talking about it, sorry. I'm going off on one about uses for a tripod. <laughs> um, so the final thing that I've got to show you, is that everything? I felt like there was some other things. Maybe that was all I got. It's that quite a quick haul, wasn't it? Um, the last thing that I've got to show you, I really like, and I did put on my Instagram home account, um, and I asked people where this came from because I feel like I recognise this and either I've seen it here on YouTube or I've seen it on someone's Instagram account or maybe I've just seen it in a shop but the print looks really familiar to me and it doesn't say on the back um, where it's come from. So if you recognise this, could you please let me know um, what shop it came from because I'm curious and when I find things in charity shops I do like to know um, kind of where they came from originally and sometimes it's interesting to see how much they would have cost um, when they were in the shops originally as well. And this one came from Trade and this was £1.99, which I thought was um, a really good price. And I really like the different colours in it and it's just quite a nice um, print. Not sure exactly where that's gonna go yet, but um, yeah, I just thought it looked really good. So I couldn't resist that for £1.99. I thought that was an absolute bargain. So that is everything that I've got to show you. Those are all of my thrifted or charity shop items for this haul. Let me know in the comments down below which item was your favourite. Let me know if you've got any ideas for using a hat <laughs> that isn't wearing it on your head. I'd be interested to know those. And also, um, yeah, let me know if you know where the print came from. So I'm dying to find out where that was from. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this charity shop, thrift shop haul. I will leave um, some links down below for you so you can go and have a look at the 10 store challenge. If you want to see me out and about shopping and going through some thrift shops and you can spy things on the shelves along with me, if you're into that kind of thing and see what you can see and then you'll see what I bought at the end of it. So that'll be linked down below. And feel free to go and watch some of my older um, charity shop hauls as well. I think there's quite a few on here now. So yeah, that's it. I hope you are having a really good week, whatever you're up to. I will be back at some point over the weekend, probably on Sunday, there may be a video on Friday night um, with some more hauls for you. And then we've got lots to look forward to. I've got some hacks videos coming up. I will be coming back with some DIYs soon. I just need some days at home that I can dedicate to those because they take a little bit longer to film, but I will be coming back with more charity shop DIYs and hacks and also some Poundland DIYs and hacks as well. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe. And if you're a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed already, please feel free. It's really easy to do. All you have to do is sign up with your email address and then you just click subscribe and that way you'll always know when a new video is being uploaded. I think if you click the notification bell as well, that will give you a notification so you know as well when a new video has gone on. And what you can do, which I find really useful, is create playlists of um, like watch later so you can add them to your watch later list if you see a video that you like but you haven't got time to watch it there and then so you're not going to miss it and then you can stack them all up and when you fancy a little cup of tea and a YouTube binge then they're all there ready to go and you can just pop them on. Sometimes I like to do that in the bath but that's probably too much information for you. But yeah, do click subscribe if you haven't done already and if you enjoyed this video please do give it 
a little thumbs up. Don't forget you can catch me over on Instagram most days. I'm always on my Instagram stories having a little chat and I post um, pictures of both my home and what I'm wearing. A lot of those items are thrifted on both of my accounts. So I'll leave both of those down for you below. I hope you're having a really good week, whatever you're up to. We're halfway through the week. So if you're working the week, we're not too far from the weekend. I'd love to know what you're up to. Feel free to tell me in the comments. And how's the temperature where you are? It's pretty chilly still. Oi oi! It's pretty chilly still here in London, um, hence the big roll neck today. But I think it's warming up a little bit. The sun's been shining today at least anyway. So yeah, that's everything. Um, I will see you at the weekend at some point. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye! You know the bit where I was saying I feel like I've forgotten something? I did forget something. It was these picture frames that I picked up for £1 each. These are the RAM picture frames from Ikea and I got these in scents as well. So there's three of them in total and yeah, I forgot to put them in the haul but I was just editing and I thought, I need to show you these. So they're just really simple wooden ones. They've got cardboard on the back. So they're probably quite cheap ones anyway. But I just really liked the simple wood edge of them. So yeah, I just wanted to pop those in. Bye.